Yo, what's up, it's your boy Dragon back with another video, and today we're gonna be showing y'all how to make the actual speed overlay. And basically, what that is, it's like a overlay the actual speed uses, and I created this, so I'm just gonna be doing the updated version because people have been requesting this tutorial, so this is gonna be my last time making it. But I'm just gonna call this the actual speed one. So basically, what it is, it's the one you see on the screen at the top left. And all the other overlays you see too, I have made tutorials on how to make them. And if you want to purchase them, hit me up on my socials, Discord, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want to hit me up on. But if you want to specifically purchase the Astro Speed one, whatever y'all want to call it, all that would cost you $7. So hit my DMs if you want to buy it. And if the video help you out, like and subscribe. And the subscription would be much appreciated. But with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go in here, and what this is, this is Cinema 4D, so you just want to come in here, and you want to do the file open, and you can open up the Lightroom, I'm going to send y'all, the Lightroom that I'm going to give y'all going to be in the description, and I'm going to just use the one y'all using just so I can give y'all a better understanding, but this is the one right here, and once you open it, it's probably going to look like this, so what you want to do is come up here, you want to pull this up like so, then you want to take this wrap off. Now, I'm pretty sure I use a different Lightroom when I made Speeds Overlay, but I'm just giving y'all like a free alternative so y'all can like get it easier, basically learn it easier. So, you want to make sure you had a bird bank big font. This is going to be in the description also. And you want to go down here to text. You want to cross this out, like go across it. And what I'm going to name is name because I'm just going to do an example. I never did this before as an example, but I'm going to just do an example one. So, once you do this, you can add a little depth to it or keep it just like that. But either way, you want to just do that. And after you want to go to file, not file, but I'm sure you want to go over here and you basically just want to render it. I'm gonna let this render and I'm gonna be back with y'all. All right, so now this is done rendering, you should have something like that and the file should be done. Now, if you want to actually name the file when you render it, you will go over here to edit render settings, go to save, and then you will have to like change the format to where the file will be saved and all that. And you just simply put the file name and I would just name this speed example if I wanted to do that. I probably should show that first, but you can render like this if you want to do it. But I'm going to let that render again, and I'm going to be back with y'all up in Photoshop. So once you're in Photoshop, the first thing you want to do is go to File, New, and you want to pick 1280 by 720, and you can just copy all these settings. Now, if you need Photoshop, hit me up in the comment section. If you need Cinema 4D, hit me up because I'm going to try to get it for you. Like I said, I'm trying to make everything in this video for free. Like, I'm trying to make it so y'all don't have to pay for anything. So after, you want to go to Create, then you want to go to File, Open, and I'm going to go to the GFX pack I got. I'm going to be dropping a new one soon, so a hey, peep game for that. But I'm going to go to my shapes, and I'm going to pick this shape. And I, when my Wi-Fi come back on, when this video should be uploaded, I'm going to leave the um, pack in the description and leave the shapes down there also. So just go on down in the description and get the shape. So once you brought it in, hit Control-C, come over here, and hit Control-V. After you do that, you want to go to File, Open, and you want to bring in the, um, the little example you got or whatever. So... I'm gonna hit Control C on this, come over here and hit Control V. And as you can see, it just pastes in. So I'm gonna bring it down here and boom. So you'll have something like that. The next thing you wanna do, you wanna bring in your social. So I'm gonna go to File Open and I'm gonna just bring in the socials I want. And I have it right here. So let's just say if I wanna do Twitter, TikTok, um, Instagram, and what's another one? Twitch. Nah, I'm gonna do YouTube. I'm gonna do YouTube. So you just do get these and I'm gonna be back. Alright, so now that you brought these in, go on each one, hit control C and then go to control V. So do it on each one. And I should have a keyboard like at my top right somewhere helping y'all out. So hit control C, then control V on each one. And after you're done, you can just close them out like so. You just wanna close these out. And then you want to go to this shape, hold shift, and then pull down on it so it can look something like this. But yeah, you just have something like that. And once you got that, hold shift on the top layer, like the top social. Then keep holding shift and click on the bottom one. Click on the side, make it a little smaller. And you would just make this smaller, like the social itself smaller. And do like this. So we're going to put it at the edges. And I'm holding shift while I'm moving around. So I'm holding shift. Evens out. Hold shift. And you would just bring this over here. And if you don't like want your Twitter, you looking that way, you can just instead replace it with Instagram and bring Twitter over here. So everything look all right. All right, so now that you have this, what you can do is start changing the color. So I'm gonna make sure everything lined up first though. So the color I'm gonna use is gonna be red. So you just go down here, hue and saturation, colorize, and you wanna pick the color red. 
Now for stuff like this, as you can see, like this Lightroom, not the best for the color. That's why I would actually like kind of change the color of Lightroom, but you can go over here to overlay, set the color to red on it, and change it up a little bit over here like that also. But just put it above the whole image so all the colors can be red, and you'll have something like this. So you right click, go to blend the options on Twitter, and now put this on color overlay so it can get like a better color red on it. So a little something like that. And now once you have this, what you want to do is go to the horizontal type tool. You want to type with it, and I'm going to just type like a, I'm going to just basically type any social, basically. So just put, I don't know, name. Yeah, I'm putting name for each one. This is the phone I'm going to be using. I'm going to put that in the description. And then you want to change the color to white on that. And just make it smaller. Click on the side, make it a little smaller. Basically like that. Then you hit Control J, bring this down, and we just bring them down with it. Control J, bring this over. Oh, shift, and I'm holding Shift as I bring it up and down. This part might take you a while if you have like if you're your first time using Photoshop, but as long as you get like the socials set up beside each other, everything should work pretty nicely. So after that, he controlled J on the top human saturation layer. You just made hold shift on it and click the bottom layer, like hold shift and then click like the layer all the way down here. Then you want to hit control E once you did that, bring this below, right click, and you want to hit merge down. And you want to hit merge down on your little name layer or whatever. So make sure you hit it like when your text layer is right below it. And you'll see what I'm talking about if you just slow it down and watch it a little bit. Now that you got your socials, all this separated, and as you can see, like I got everything, everything should be separated, so you can take it out one by one. We're going to hit Control S to save this, and I'm going to just put mine in my downloads, and hitting Control S will save the PSD, so I'm going to put PSD, name, speed, and I might even leave this PSD down below for whatever reason. If y'all want to use it, I'm just leave it down there, but the next thing I'm going to do is go to Adobe After Effects, and I'm going to be back with y'all once I do that. Alright, so once you got Adobe After Effects open, um, just hit OK. First thing you want to do is click on New Composition. So just wait for it to load up and everything to get processed. Once you click on New Composition, you can set your frame rate to 60 or 30. But when you set it to 30, it makes the like file a little bit smaller, and you really can't see a difference. The width you want to put 12, I mean 1280, and the height you want to do 720, and just copy all these other settings like pixel aspect ratio. That should automatically be on square pixels. And your preset should say custom once you change all this stuff. Now your start time code should be a zero and my duration that I use is 15 seconds, but you can go longer. Background color, I'm gonna set it to color black. After that, you wanna hit OK. And then you wanna go to file, import, and then file again. So once you come in here, you just wanna go to your downloads or wherever you put the PSD at. And I'm gonna just wait for this to load up. Then you wanna hit import, hit OK. And make sure when it asks you on layer options, pick edible layer styles not the merge one because the merge one won't work properly all right so now that you got this you could just hold control and select the layers you want and bring them down so it should look like this when you bring it in here now obviously one at the back you want to bring this above everything except the social i like to keep my socials on top my text in the middle and at the bottom you want to have your shape so after this hit control and D on the shape layer, and he control and D on the text layer. Now you want to hold control, and you want to select the text, and you should already be on the shape. So just make sure you have the bottom uh, shape layer selected, and the bottom text layer selected. And by doing that, you want to hold control and pick both of them, and you should have that. After you have picked them or selected them, whatever you want to say, go to layer, and then after you go to layer, you want to go to auto trace, and hit OK. So now you want to go over to Effects and Presets and type in Saber. Now you will need a Saber Copilot link that I will leave in the description. I will leave a video on how to get it. And I will leave the actual description itself if you don't want to look at the video on how to get it. But that will be free also. So you want to type in Saber. And you probably will have to close it out or reset your PC before it will pop up in here. And if you have any problems with it, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to help y'all. So once you got your Saber set up, you want to you should have dragged it over like you just seen me do and put it on the um, layer that you auto trace first thing you want to do is go to render settings and composite settings and put it on transparent after that go to customize core and core type you want to put on layer mask and then your preset up here you want to set the art reactor 
Now it's a lot of different type of presets. I know this is called a speed overlay tutorial, but even if you want to be a little different, it's still a lot of different good ones on here. And when you take this off, you can see it even better. Let me show you. For example, you got so many different ones and you can just do it however you want. Now, Art Reactor is the one that I use personally though on these types. So after you want to go to this little color picker type tool and just pick the color on there. And as you can see, when I click this little toggle transparency grid, I take off and put back on the transparency layer. So now what you want to do is right click, copy, and then you want to bring it up here, go to effect, saber, right click and paste it. And if you can't paste it, just drag the saber over there and repeat the step that you did on the bottom one. Now you can kind of take off the transparency grid and you can see the overlay coming together. So now what you want to do is go to file, export, and then you want to add to Adobe Media Encoder. I will leave that in the description also, but for the people that don't have it, I'm going to show you how to render it in the render queue first. So you want to click add to render queue, output module. You want to make sure that you have your format on, let me see, QuickTime and your post render action have that on none. Channels, you want to do RGB plus alpha and let everything else be just like it is. After that, you want to go to Output 2. You should click on that, like the little blue thing, and basically put it where you want the file to go to, and you want to rename the file so you'll know what it is. And once you do that, you want to click Render, and when it gets done rendering, you'll hear ding sound, and you can go check and see where the file is. Now, I'm going to render mine in Adobe Media Encoder because the file is smaller, and in my opinion, it's easier for me. So I'm going to use this, and when it loads up, I'm going to be back with y'all. All right, so once you get in here, you can already see that I have my settings preset, and my quality on my video is not that good so i'm just gonna show you how to do it like how i would do it so you want to click on this little bar over here and it should pop up a whole bunch of different formats format you want to look for is quicktime once you find it click on it and quicktime should be right below png and right above targa i don't know if I even know if i said that right but just make sure you click on quicktime next thing you want to do is go get gopro send form RGB 12 bit with alpha. Now I'm gonna put this in the comment section, like I mean description, like showing exactly what settings I picked. But just make sure you click this GoPro Sin Sin Form RGB 12 bit with alpha. Now you can try to add maximum bit rate, but I know I mean depth, but I never tried that, so I'm just gonna go with what I do and works good with me. And it is what I rendered. I show speeds overlay in also. After that, you will see output file. Now, below output file, if you never used this before, you, it'll probably be empty. So you want to click this, and it's going to be just like if you did the regular render queue. So what you want to do is just send the file wherever you want to get it to. I'm going to send mine right here, and I'm just going to put name, overlay, I show, example. After you do that, you want to click on this little play button. It's a green start queue enter type play button up here once you click on it it will start rendering and when it gets done rendering i'll be back with y'all to show y'all what else you would do and you'll pretty much almost be done with the overlay after that once they're done it should say done with a uh, green check mark and you can see these that uncom like didn't complete the ones that i tried before they got like this block right here this red block none of that should happen if it does just hit me in the conversation i'm gonna try to figure out what's wrong so once you're done you want to go back to adobe after effects you want to go to file and you want to just close the project unless you wanted to save it what you could have done it just hit save as i think and you can like save the project if you want to be like a little preset you use to make other ones but you want to use the same format hit new composition and go to okay so once you do that go to file import and then you just want to find the file that you just used and it's gonna take mine a while to load up so i'll be back with y'all when i get mine in here click on it import it go like this and boom you can see it's already looking kind of like the actual speed overlay only difference is this says name right here so once you got this you want to go over here to fix a preset and type in cc light sweep now this cc light sweep you really won't need none this will come with photoshop so what you want to do is just drag this all the way over following what i'm doing go click on like this little clock right here to the left of the word center hit u once you drag it over and just follow what i do now you want to drag this to five seconds and bring this all the way over again i'm dragging this all the way over hit u once again then you want to go to 10 seconds you want to drag this all the way over again just all the way over and hit u again and then you want to go all the way to 15 seconds drag this all the way over 
and hit U once again. Now, that's pretty much how you do it. And I'm going to show you how to change the color of the overlay. Like, do color changing if you wanted to. I'm not going to use color changing on this one, all, all of, but this is how you would do it. You would go to Hue and Saturation, drag it over here, click the clock to the left of channel range, hit U, and I double tap mine and drag it all the way over here after you hit U. Then you want to cycle this all the way around until you get back to the start. And the number should change to one and it should say one zero right here at master you so you want to hit you again and the color should like um change and all that and i might actually render it with color changing i might actually do that so yeah I'm, i think i'm gonna do that but that's pretty much how you do color changing and if you just want to take it off just hit fx and i'm pretty sure it should come off if you want to come back on just click right there again it should come back on so i'm gonna render this with color changing but like i said that's how you take it off and i'm gonna just render this again through adobe media encoder i'm gonna show you me doing it but i'm not gonna show the other render keyword because there's no point if i showed you already i shouldn't have to show it again but you just want to do this and come over here and i'm gonna name this name overlay and when i add a cc light i always put cc at the end and know that i'm done making the overlay so just want to let it render and it should render fairly quickly so i'm probably just gonna uh, sit here and watch this render because this usually renders quick so yeah you can see it's going by very fast and at the bottom you can actually see like the overlay in motion so it's gonna look even better when we put in obs or whatever you live stream on or if you want to use it for a youtube video All right, so once it's done, it should say not currently encoded. So that means this, um, your render got done. So now you want to come in OBS or whatever you use. Put my, um, do I have to put my face on the camera? Not really, so I probably won't. I might put it back on here though, you see. All right, I got my face on here. So you want to go to the plus symbol, then you want to do media source. And once you do this, hit okay. Now you want to go to loop, browse, and go to wherever you had your overlay at. And I'm gonna type in a name for mom type in name and it should pop up hit okay and boom it should work now if you have questions about putting these on YouTube videos just make sure you use the green screen and then render it if you need further help with how to, how to use the green screen and render it let me know but I mean my opinion man making this OLED it always for some reason it just look good with me like especially the color change I love the color changing but like I say it's MOV file so you can't open it and view it and if you want to send to your client as mp4 you would just have to use a converter but they still need a green screen to be able to use it anyway so this is just really good for live streaming because it's an mov file and the only thing you gotta do is just open it up it'll be png just make sure you do media source and with all that being said being by dragon if this video helped you out make sure you drop a like and subscribe feel me my jump popped up at the right time but yeah let's get it man it's 2022 time to get on this grind